Hey everybody, this is Karen Nicole, also known as AZ Power Girl, and San Diego Comic Con has come to an end, and I stayed the night here in San Diego. Um, I was brought out by Big City Comics. Uh, it was wonderful to see all of you here. This is unboxing number six. 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 So yes. And I know, no, no, yeah, six sounds like six. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, I know. Anyway, so uh, first of all, super excited. Check this shit out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Okay, this was given to me by Bat Rivera from Dark Knight Studios. And love this guy. Congratulations. He just got engaged. And I adore his lovely fiance. That's their business, but I wanted to let you guys know you can get these shirts from Dark Knight Studios. I'll be tagging that as well. So, next box. This was actually brought up. This is very funny because this person, she lives in L.A., but her family's out of Arizona. I think we see each other more out of town than we ever do in town but she's like my little sister i adore this girl and i always worry about her and i want to protect her and i just want to like just bunch her up and wrap her up and i want to make sure that she's warm and i want to make sure that she's safe and i want to make sure that she's okay i don't want her to go out into the big mean world she's just i love this girl this is the hardest working millennial i know and no offense to all you other millennials out there but this one is the bomb all right she is 24 years old an inspiring artist. She has had covers with Lady Death. She's had covers with The Changeling, which some of you know I've done as well. So it was super cool to be on some of those Kickstarters with her, especially because I remember when she just started. Um, she's just amazing. She also has her own tarot decks out. And this is Samantha Sawyer. So see, first of all, look what she did. To Kara Heart Sam. She's like this cute little goth, you know? She's like, I'm wearing all black and I'm having a hat and everything, but she's always like, seriously, you ever see this? It's always her. She's precious. So you can follow her on Instagram at sincerely underscore Sammy, on Twitter at sincerely Sam Art, Facebook, sincerely Sam, Patreon, join her Patreon at sincerely Sam, and Etsy, my sincerely Sam. So she's, no, she's my sincerely Sam. So. I'm going to open it up with this uh, giant uh, safety pin that I got from Jen Greeley. Thank you. She's the bomb as well. I barely ever get to see her at a con. We do a con. We roomed together. I barely got to see her. Not here, but we roomed together somewhere else. So opening this box. This has been a really fun project. I was really surprised at how many people came up to me and said, hey, you're doing unboxings now. I want to send you something. And I love what you guys send me. I've got some amazing, interesting things. Someone asked me what the worst thing I ever got was, and it's a toss up between the really, really old um, cloth diaper. One, not a pack, it was one. Or the plastic omelet maker that was still dirty. Those came in the same box, but it was hilarious. And I did get some amazing, great things. So, all right. Thank you. Sincerely, Sam. Let's open it up and see what we got. All right. So for those of you that don't know, this is Salem. And Salem is going to be the next big kid show hit. She's been working so hard on this. I love the art. I love the concept and I'm not going to give it away, but I'm going to let you know that this is a demon. And it's just, it's, it's very, very cute. I don't know how much I'm allowed to tell, honestly, because what she posts and what she's putting out there, I don't see everything. But privately, she will show me things that cannot be released yet. So... I'm not at liberty to give too much information on it, but I want you to look her up on that. So this is great. This is one of her animals and look at how beautiful this is. Like a, it's like a 
like a cat with wings, but look at that. It's like a little cat angel, which cat angel, I don't trust that. Definitely, definitely fiction um, and fantasy. At least my cats are not angels. Um, so she does beautiful work. And I remember when she started as an artist and she was drawing like anime stuff and she was good. She was good and cute, but she's just developed and evolved and I love it. All right. Man, this box is jam-packed full of stuff. This is, this looks like it's from the Salem series as well. So see, so you're getting some of these like inside. I'm telling you, you know what? When Salem comes out, you start watching it. And a year after that, everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, Salem is the best thing in the world. Have you seen it? And they're gonna act like they're so cool. And you'd be like, I knew about that so long ago. So Sam also has some really great Kickstarters that she does for these beautiful, beautiful pins. And she gave me one. I love these. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous this is. Yeah, don't forget me when you're incredibly famous. Look at that. I want to make sure you can get a good shot and see that. It's beautiful. It's Yet again, another fictional char uh, character, a cat with uh, wings. Like, I can believe a cat with wings more than I can believe a cat with, like, angel wings because cats are evil little monkeys. I know this. I have cats, and they all hate me. Felix doesn't hate you. Felix hates me. I saved his life, piece of crap. Loves you. He hates me. He doesn't hate me that much. Rocket hates me. Rock hates everybody though, so. So look here we have, this is almost a jackalope with wings. It says at Jazors. I don't know what that means, but I want you to add it because, and then I want you to tell me what it is. J-A-I-Z-O-R-E-S. And it looks like a bunny, but if you look, you see the little the little antlers, this is a jackalope. And I have run over one of those things once. It was an accident, I didn't mean to, and no, I didn't eat him. Um, and you know, because you, when you hit them, they're not like squishy little soft squish. No, they're like <sighs> Okay, next. Oh, okay, so first you're gonna see, you see the swan, but look back here. You see the little baby swans. <gasps> Aren't they so cute? They're hiding in the back in her tail. And I love stickers again. So here we go. Here's another swan. Man, these are going to fill up my artboard. Here's a fairy. I love that her wings match her dress. Oh, another one of those fake ass cats with wings that are going to kill you. You know, look at what a sweetheart I am. <laughs> I'm going to eat your face. And this is, this is incredible. This is like, I want you to see that. It's like a cat, but you see its skull. Isn't that sick? That is cool. I'm really loving that. I'm gonna put all these guys back in its bag. Okay, so the problem I have with stickers is that I love them. I love the designs, but I'm always like, if I stick it onto something and then I don't have that thing anymore, I lose my sticker. Maybe I need a sticker book but I want my stickers in places where I can see things. So you see where I'm at? Like I put a lot of stickers on my makeup box. Maybe I need a sticker book that's like, this is my book of stickers. Okay. She knows me. She knows that I love and collect these things. Hell yeah. Look at these. She was wearing a pair similar all weekend. They, uh, they had less frame, but look. Aren't these great? I'm wearing these, the, the, I'm wearing these for a long time. Like I, while I'm here, I'm gonna say they're a little big. I have a small head. I have a child size head. And that's why, you know, I always look like I'm so huge, like in the body because I have a little head. If I had a head that matched my body, but I'm like friggin' Beetlejuice, you know? <laughs> All right, now this is cool. 
I'm gonna figure out where to put this. This is a keychain with a cat, with angel wings. She uses a lot of purple, which is cool. I love purple. I love purples and I love greens and she doesn't make everything look jokerish. We need to see that. It's see-through, so I'm trying to, where can I put this that's gonna be, I think right there is good. And you can, you can buy all of these things from her Etsy. And I don't know exactly what she's offering on her Patreon. Unfortunately, all of us artists, you know, we get so busy with our own stuff that we don't get a chance to look at each other's, but sometimes we gotta take a minute and be like, you know what, let me check out your stuff. So, um, all right. This is a different acrylic. This is almost a smoky, misty acrylic, and this is the uh, this is a rabbit, and it has wings, and it has is it a mushroom or like flowers growing, like mushrooms? It has mushrooms growing out of it. Like who would have thought of that? Oh, Sam would have, and she did. And this is just great. You can find her at a lot of comic book conventions. She is usually in Artist Alley. She has a big purple pink display. It's gorgeous. And she travels everywhere. We've been trying to coordinate schedules. I keep looking outside. I don't know why. I mean, I'm on the 14th floor. It says 14th, but actually number wise, it's 13th. There is no 13th floor. So you can't just change the number and have it not be the 13th. It's still 13th. Nothing terrible has happened to me so far. I get that. Okay, so this is a, looks like a wolf with wings. Look how gorgeous that is. And I want you to look at her logo. Sincerely, Sam. And it's got the little arrow. So, I'm excited about that. I was actually thinking about this morning, like, where's my San Diego pin? Oh, it doesn't come in the bag now. It comes in your box when you get it in the mail. Man, this just, this box keeps going. One day, there's going to be some Comic-Con or whatever, and there's going to be Phineas and Ferb and, you know, like all these other creators and whatnot, and Salem is going to be right there with them. I'm not even kidding. Like, this girl is the next big thing. So I got a lanyard, which is great because sometimes cons don't give you lanyards. Oh, I don't know what this is. Is this an over... Is this, um, what's his face from Overwatch? It's Hanzo. It's Hanzo. And that's funny because I'm not an Overwatch person, but I know everyone makes fun of like, oh, are you a Hanzo maid? Like, and that's gone now. <laughs> Alfred has taken that. He's like, that is mine. Thank you. And she didn't make that. That has nothing to do with her. She just likes to be funny. Okay, so here we go with a swan. And this is another one of the acrylic um, keychains. And I remember when she first started doing keychains, they were um, very, very lightweight. They were very, they were almost like shrinky dinks or like just like a plastic. And they were very, very thin, like kind of like the cheap stuff that you get from those booths that sell like a bunch of bootleg crap. And, you know, and she was like 19 years old. So, and now she's like upgraded and really just bringing it. Okay. What do we have next? Another one? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of these care packages together and, um, you know, and have someone else do a mystery box. I mean, I, I'm i gonna pull what I definitely want, but I wanna share some of the wealth with you guys because look at this, this is gorgeous. I can't tell which ones I like better. Do I like the, the Misty or do I like the, the totally clear, like this really has its own, it's just soft and beautiful. Look at that, and it's a bunny with all the flowers. Just, it's just lovely, you know? Like this is something that you could buy to give to like your grandma or your child or keep for yourself, but you know, a lot of times people, they go to Comic-Con and they're really into like their big superheroes or whatever. And you're like, oh, I want to get something for my girlfriend. She's not really into this. You go to Sam's booth, okay? You go to Sam's booth or you go online to Sam's, Sam's uh, Etsy at My Sincerely Sam. And 
Like you give that to your mom for Mother's Day and she's going to love you and be like, oh, you thought of me. You're so sweet. Or that girlfriend, you know? Okay, I don't know what this is. This is a bag. So I saw she had new dice bags. This is really thick fabric. This is very nice. I think it's, is it two? This is two, this is double lined. So the outside has the winged rabbit and the inside is like a really nice soft, um, almost velveteen and it's got stuff on it. Okay. Blue, it's a blue moon uh, uh, lid. I don't smell any beer on it. Like, did you even drink this? Be adorable. I don't drink beer, but I'm drinking a beer. Um, oh, check this out. More than that. That's trippy. I like that. For those of you that know, I don't really do a lot of jewelry, but I'm trying to start like enjoying myself more in that capacity. And, and this has been great because I'm finding things that I, I actually like, you know, look at that. Right on. Thank you, Sam. That's cool. Ah, business card. And look at that, freaking hollow foil business cards. Yeah. And here's all of our information. Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, Patreon. License plate fasteners. I hope you don't need these. But I guess if I need to fasten my license plate on, I have fasteners now. A full set. So funny. <laughs> Neutrogena light sesame formula body lotion from a hotel. I don't think it's been used, which I don't care if it is. It's Sam, but. Okay. Dave and Buster's power card. Rechargeable. Check the balance of free gameplay. A $50 Target gift card. I'm sure this has already been used, but I'm going to double check and see if you left like that eight cents on there and I will spend that. Another David Buster. I think someone like this David Busters. I have one by my house. I don't go there very often. It's very overwhelming. I just get a lot with the giant games. Old Navy, a $20 gift card for Old Navy. Probably already spent as well. <laughs> Oh, look, a $25 visa, man. You hooked me up, Sam. <laughs> I think she just literally emptied her wallet into this. Actually, I think this was her brother's. Looking at the signature. Because <laughs> this is not her signature. This is his. <laughs> was this whole pack Alex's idea? Oh, I wish I'd opened this before the comment. <laughs> Listerine, I hate these things. They're brilliant, they're wonderful, but they're always like, you know, like your mouth is burning off. Okay, so these are actually dice bags, but I think that she needs to have them be tarot card bags. I really, I know, I know some psychics that would, I actually know a psychic and I'm gonna give this to her. As much as I love it myself, this is going to Hillary Hayne who has like a million card decks and I really want to get her one of Sam's decks because they're just out of this world. They're extraordinary. They're beautiful. And they're just incredible. But look at this. I think I'm going to get her the Oracle set. So Oracle cards are different than tarot cards. For those of you that don't know, we're still not done. We're still not done. We're at 18 minutes. It's the longest video yet. This one I'm keeping. This is going to be, this is my retirement fund right here. That's a Salem keychain. And when, uh, when this thing goes nutso, you guys are taking your kids to go see Salem at the movie theater. That's, that's going to be like, yeah, look what I got. That was before any of you guys ever knew about this. Here's another one of her beautiful pins oh, upside down. It's a snake. It's a snake in flowers. Isn't that pretty? Follow her Kickstarters for those things because you're going to be able to get those from time to time. Okay, and now last but not least, these, it's a pencil bag. And this is that cat with the skull that I really like. I'm keeping that. This is, 
I don't know what I'm doing with it. Maybe this will be for my makeup. Because right now my makeup is in a Crown Royal bag. Yeah, you know the ones that come over your bottles of Crown Royal? Because a friend of mine drinks a lot of it and handed me, like, just gave me a friggin' pile of them. So I've been using them for everything. But this, this is gorgeous. Maybe this will be my travel makeup bag. And I'm putting all these things back in their things. Now, it could be done, but there's two more things in here. A safety pin, which if I'd opened this at the beginning, I needed one more. And that's where I got that giant one from. So now I have three safety pins, okay? Maybe I need to use one of these bags for safety pins. And this looks like it contained a piece of candy. So thank you for all the wonderful things, Sam. Follow her on Instagram at sincerely underscore Sammy. Follow her on Twitter at sincerely Sam. Art. Follow her on Facebook at sincerely Sam. Follow her, join her Patreon at Sincerely Sam and Etsy, my Sincerely Sam. So thank you again. Love you all. Thank you, Bat Rivera from Dark Knight Studios for the shirt, Spaceballs, the quest for more money. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook at AZ Power Girl. Follow me on Instagram at AZ Power Girl, Twitter at AZ Power Girl. Everywhere at AZ Power Girl. Now I'm going to rock out with my new, uh, a new bracelet, a new shirt.